I think anybody would uh, have the doubts about starting their own business. You can get in your own way and it's easy to sit and think, no, I can't do that, it's, it's too much. <laughs> but from the sort of memorabilia side of things, obviously if you look around here, most of the stuff is, is rugby, soccer, but anyone who's into sport, I think we've got something for everybody. There's a fantastic selection of books. We've got a little range of soaps that we make ourselves, some candles which are made locally, mugs, and all sorts of little gifts with a local theme. You don't have to be a rugby fan or a football fan. The biggest challenge was having the idea and not knowing where to go. You know, if you work in construction like I did, this is a totally different avenue to go down. And where, how do you do it? I, I really didn't know at the time, you know. Obviously, there was the, the two advisors. There's a lot of things to think about, but the main thing to think about is how are you going to survive and, and how are you can get money in and live on it. And they showed me how to do cash flow analysis. And the first one I did, I made a mess of. <laughs> to, to my favour, really. And he spotted there was a massive error in it. So they encouraged me to do the business plan first before I met them, so they could understand what I had in mind. A little bit of marketing, they, they, they tried to push me in the, the right direction and find, finding the premises, really. Two totally independent, unbiased people have said, yeah, go for it, you know, what's stopping you? In the early days, I'd have been happy that people had just come in and, and had a look and, and shown a bit of interest and oh, <laughs> buying things would have been a bonus, but they came in and, and did both, which was brilliant. You, can, you know, they say to you, Oh my God, my, my son would love that. Oh, my father would like that. And they, they'll come back and I'll come back and get that, you know? The Instagram course and the, and the other one I did, the first one, the sort of social media marketing side of things. It's, it's made me think about how I use social media now. Obviously, it's, it's a front for the shop. The Hub has connected me with courses, speakers, other like-minded people who are setting up their own businesses face to face. I would have struggled a little bit without the hub, without a little bit of guidance. But you need somebody to ask the, the right questions and get the right answers back. I think what I'd emphasize is, is the confidence side from my own point of view. It's the fact that somebody said to you, yeah, I think you've got a decent idea there. That's, that's, the, that's, that's the biggest thing with me. And, and the hub, really. <laughs> Shall I say that again? <laughs> <laughs>